welcome us to be all here to Los Angeles. Thank you, Michael. Have a nice Thanksgiving. All right, we're on our way. Beautiful already today. Love it. Love it, love it. It was 38 degrees when I left Albuquerque today. So it's nice to be able to be somewhere where it's a little bit warmer. My hair is very poofy. <laughs> Gas here is $4.09. Crazy. I pulled up the other day at Costco for $2.19. A little bit of a different price point. <laughs> Almost two full dollars more. Loyola Marymount University on the right there. Like right there. Water's like right there, man. Just on my left, the ocean. Los Angeles River here, I think. I want to go straight. Back on the road, going to head to Santa Monica Pier. Um, and uh, until then, I'm going to have me a, a Lunchable because I am freaking starving. I am famooshed. Separated, so it's not so much of a hassle when I'm driving. Feel like, feel like trying to cut the cheese when you're driving. <laughs> uh, Maserati in front of me. Nice little car. and go here, ladies and gents. I have a feeling it's going to be that way until I get under the freeway. And then even more. <laughs> until you hit the water. <laughs> and stop and swim. The ocean! Woohoo! That's what I wanted to see. Ooh, there goes a Lambo. You're done. You can go home now. Take the rest of the day off, ma'am. All right, new parking. Ah, oh, sweet. We're just gonna go over here. Oh, God, yes, this is awesome. This is just what I wanted. I just wanted a little time by the ocean. Here we are, baby. Santa Monica. It's a beautiful beach, it is a beautiful day. A little plane overhead. Right down that direction, Santa Monica Pier. Well, here we are at Santa Monica Beach. 38 degrees when I left Albuquerque today. They had to de-ice the wings of my plane because it was frosty. <laughs> and so here I am walking on the beach here in California. This is the way a proper pre-Thanksgiving weekend should be spent. I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust. Well, this is all worth it, baby. Rest of my peeps in New Mexico. Woohoo! Water's a little chilly. I think one would need a, uh, a wetsuit if you were to be out surfing today, as actually many are. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. 
Um, this is awesome. This is a really nice part of the beach. Not too busy. Of course, it's pretty early still. This is great. Absolutely beautiful. This is all the houses of Rodeo Drive, and then we'll be heading up to the shops of Rodeo Drive here in just a little bit. And then we're gonna hit the Lamborghini of Beverly Hills. Because heck, why not? We're here. This is the street. This is where they're always racing their little cars up and down. Too freaking funny, man. Perchance. Would one of the DDE guys be here today? Maybe. I don't see anybody. Then again, I don't know my way around quite the way they do. Ralph Lauren. Very cool, man. Very cool indeed. Oh my god, the blue purple And we'll grow in number, So I'm back here at Beverly Hills Lamborghini. Um, I was able to find the beautiful blue spider performante. This is the why I love the spec of this car. It's so freaking beautiful. Gayardo 2. That's awesome. <laughs> Another Lamborghini for This is a new Evo. I've not actually seen one up, up close and in person. This is pretty darn cool. Whole new center console. Actually has a little bit more storage in back, almost like the FDR8, that red. Interesting. The teal Aventador. <laughs> I bet it's quite a unique color. And another adventure. Well, now we are at the Beverly Hills Rolls Royce slash McLaren dealer. Let's go on in and see what we got there's this new supercar that we're going to take a quick look at and then we'll have to get some information online because i don't know anything about this car but it looks very futuristic they do not as of yet have the conan Sega gear here they said they'll be getting it at some point in time but they do have a few lamborghinis here that's crazy. And some McLarens, of course. I was here at the Rolls-Royce slash McLaren dealer in Beverly Hills on the uh, direction of the folks over at Lamborghini of 
Beverly Hills because I had seen online that there is a blue Conan Sega Gira for sale. It's like the only street legal one in um, the United States. And so they told me to go over to Rolls Royce of Beverly Hills. They said what they said it wasn't here though. So anyway, what are you gonna do? What a beautiful day here in Beverly Hills, Southern California. Come oh, on people, if it's green, that means go. We're on the I-10. I-10 freeway here in Los Angeles on a Saturday morning. Well, it's about, it's almost noon. The beautiful <clears throat> LA skyline. Yeah! I wanna get over to Mr. Mate. Just taking a tour of the downtown area of LA. You couldn't get much more downtown than right here. Where am I? Am I on the 110? I don't know where I am. I'm stuck somewhere. Three quarters of a mile takes forever in LA. Right here, that's my old school. Just on the right. Should have seen if there was parking. This was parking for students. Student housing was all around here. Um, it's just a very old part of LA. I think it's a Hispanic church and Bible college. But the founder of my old denomination, Amy Simple McPherson, this was her house right here on the right. So that's kind of cool. And then straight ahead is the Echo Park. There on the right is Echo Park. And you can see all of the geysers and the fountains. And it's very beautiful. to the paper towel dispenser because they get a little bit messy. <laughs> okay. So we are now headed to my old work. My, the, this is the first time I worked at UPS. Back in the fall of 1989 is when I first started. Um, this is the oldest UPS hub in Los Angeles. So there's a lot of history to it. Um, I'm sure it's been upgraded since I worked there. Welcome to Historic Filipino Town. Apparently we are in Historic Filipino Town. Good to know, good to know. This looks just like the way I used to take to work. All these up and down hills. After a while it just gets to be... I couldn't tell anybody how to get to my work, but I could always get there because it's just like muscle memory. It's that driving muscle memory that you kind of just figure out. There it is! Straight down the hill, baby! I think it's still UPS. It sure is, look at that. Used to... This is where I used to park. Right along here. Used to work about 6.30 to about 10 30 11 o'clock at night loading unloading trucks and uh had my car broken into many a time it got to the point where i just didn't even leave my car oh car locked um i didn't have a stereo to steal so it was like it was more expensive for me to replace the glass than it was for me to just leave the uh the car unlocked for them to just kind of go through and just like whatever <laughs> Not much has actually changed. <laughs> there was a lot of homelessness then, and there is still a lot of homelessness now. <laughs> I'm 
and here probably comes our metro train. This almost sounds like a freight train. Nope, here it comes. Metro Link. Actually goes all the way down to San Diego. Winery. San Antonio Winery. Nice. Actually kind of a nice little part of town. Fun. It's a lot of fun. Interesting how people are just living in these RVs. Why are we slowing down? What is the problem? What is the hold up? Thank you. Get out of the way. Come on, lady. Drive like I got a pair. <laughs> I wish I could pass this lady. She's going so slow. Maybe I can. Maybe. That's exactly what I'll be doing. Yeah. Going around. Sheesh. Herbalife. It's funny, but I've actually found people to be friendlier here in LA than in Albuquerque. People are hostile in Albuquerque. Hostile. One thing I have not seen much of today is smog, which is kind of unusual because typically there's a big old layer of it hanging over the city. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if maybe the rain over the last couple of days kind of cleaned things up a bit. Well, that was really cool. I got to see my Aunt Betty, and now I'm going to go to CNC Automotive. Azusa is where an old revival took place, right here in Azusa. All right, boys and girls. Well, we are at the new home of CNC. I was here a couple of years ago when they were still at their Ontario location. And this new lake, this new location is the bomb. This is awesome. They have so much more space and an incredible inventory of cars. I don't know how they do it, man. This is crazy. So let's go on in and see what we have. All right, inside CNC, this is beautiful. Look at this matte black Aventador. This thing is beautiful. Little Mercy Lago Roadster. Nice, but a pain in the butt when it comes to putting on the, the top. See if we can find the unicorn today, the gated shifter. Well, it didn't take them long to get a Urus. SLS, the gold wing doors, that is pretty freaking cool, dude. Look at that. That is really neat. Here we go. Ford GT, and we got Lamborghinis for days. It's a nice spec. That 
It's a really nice spec. Gallardo Spider. Get some info on this one. 2007. Nice little car. Aventador. Boy, I really like that. That's cool. This one home. LP610, so four wheel drive, all wheel drive. Pretty freaking cool, man. What? Look at that Huracan, the underground racing kit. That is sweet. That is really sweet. little peek under the bonnet here. Well, that was really cool. CNC did a good job. It's cool though, they have a great selection of stuff. I like to see all of the Lamborghinis. It's funny, it seems like they have, I think they have more Lamborghinis for sale than Ogara had. <laughs> but of course they're older, um, but very cool, very nice selection. Two days later. So this is a pretty drive here along Euclid Avenue um, in Upland. This is the road that comes down from the mountain. So it's very, very pretty. So right, I'm at the beach again, Laguna Beach. I'm making my way to Dana Point. This is the face of a happy camper. It's about three o'clock on November 25th, 2019. This whole uh, trip to California was great. I got to see Gary and Brett and their wives and girlfriends. And um, also got to see Betty and Jeff and then Megan, Scott, and David and Hannah. So I am now making my way down the coast, PCH, Highway 1, uh, to Newport of Lamborghini. Million dollar view, baby. Coastal tour. Woohoo! Yeah! Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's have a bit of fun. Well, I just arrived here at Lamborghini of Newport. So here we have the Rambo Lambo, the LM002. Made in 1989. Crazy 4x4 Lambo. Ventador SVJ. Very nice. We've got Aventadors as far as the eye can see. Wow. Awesome. Nice. 
Lots of Aventadors. You too can own one if you have $480,000. There was one over here that I wanted to see. It had some blue, looks like it has a blue interior. And I think it is a Huracan. Nope, it's right here. This, It's this gray on blue. It is a Huracan. It's an Evo actually. 261,000. It's got a beautiful blue interior, beautiful blue spec. Nice. Very nice indeed. I could I could live with silver with a blue interior. Very nice. Super Legera. Cool. Turbo V8, four wheel drive. Six hundred and ten horsepower. Very darn cool. See, that's Mercy. I'm on PCH heading to LAX now. Went to Lamborghini of Newport. It was nice. There weren't any blue Lamborghinis, so heartbreak there. Well, um, it's been a great trip. If you like the content on my channel, I do ask you to subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Until we talk again, you guys be blessed.